Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over Tick Tick and why I left Google Calendar and Todoist for Tick Tick. And it's all coming up next. So in today's episode, we are going to go over why I left Google Calendar and Todoist in favor of TickTick. So as you see here, we have TickTick opened up on my screen. And so let me give you a little brief summary of why I chose to switch from Google Calendar and Todoist for my, um, you know, schedule and, you know, doing to-do lists and stuff like that, why I switched from them and went over to Tick Tick. Well, you know, I have been a Google Calendar and uh, Todoist um, user for quite some time. I would say probably I'm more of a Todoist fan than Google Calendar, but that's just me, I guess. But, um, you know, it came to, um, it just, I guess you could say, over the years of doing Google Calendar and Todoist, I was always having a problem going back and forth between uh, both uh, the calendar and um, the to-do app, Todoist. And you know, I would be doing stuff in my calendar, then I had to go over to my to-do list to see what stuff I had to do on that, and I was going back and forth, never really knew how to schedule it all. It just was, it was really wonky going back and forth, because believe it or not, I don't know if you know this or not, but... Uh, you have the same 24 hours in the day for your events as you do for Todoist. You don't have a separate 24 hours. You have the same 24 hours. It all has to get scheduled somehow. And so I found that it was getting quite um, difficult for me to balance both of those. And I wanted one area that I could go to. Okay, this is what I got to do. I don't have to sit there and go, all right, here's my events and Google Calendar. Oh, yeah, time block this off. I'm going to do some something chores or whatever and so now i gotta hop over to do is to see what those are and so i can check mark them off and this and that you know i just didn't want to do all that it's just getting too cumbersome i found myself um uh, falling further and further behind on the stuff i needed to get done and i was moving stuff over and to do is over to the next day because i could never get it get it get it right so i was looking for a better solution something whereas you could put down a time block and in that time block you could put down what you need to do in that time block and then check mark those off as you complete them. And then once you're done, that time block or that task, that main task goes away. But, you know, as I um, use Google Calendar, I mean, you don't have a like a thing you can use for check marks, you know, in the description. And I'll show you real quick what I'm talking about. So let's say if I go to Google Calendar, and I'm in here and I say, okay, I want to do my chores or whatever they are, whatever it is I'm trying to do, right? And it has several subtasks. And so I go ahead and do that and I hit save, right? All right, so now if I go in here and I edit it and everything, and if I go into descriptions over here, if you see, there's uh, no way, I mean, I can create a bullet list, but there's no way to check anything off once you're done. And to me, it's kind of important because I like to know when I'm done with something. It's just the way my brain works. Maybe for you, it doesn't work that way. Maybe Google Calendar and Todoist is just great. And that's awesome. But for me, I wanted something where I could check mark something off when I'm done, right? And granted, I could have, um, you know, just put several different tasks here under the time, but it just wasn't really, really working that well for me. And granted, you do have tasks here in Google that show up over here and you can move those over. It was just too cumbersome, I felt. So I really wanted something that I could utilize that had a check mark system. Now, granted, you could say, well, Jerry, you could just, you know, have chores and then maybe, and this is what I was doing too, by the way, you could put over here, you know, in your, in your title, to do it. So I know if I can spell all right, there we go. So, got chores and then to do is right? So I know that when that time block comes up, that I just need to go to to do is and find that chores and then check mark it off there, right? Okay, 
Well, let's go do that, finally. So let's go over here to chores, right? So I put chores, and then I say, well, I wanna add some uh, tasks, right? So let's move that over. And of course, I never can remember how to do it and to do it with a control. No, it's option. It's control. There we are. All right. So I've moved it over there and then I go ahead and I put, say, um, sweep basement. Um, pet cat. Pet fish. Pet neighbors. Dog without dying. Whatever it is, okay? So I put all my little chores in there, right? And let's say I do this every day, right? Because sometimes you have a reoccurring tasks. So let's say I put that in there for every day, right? So you say, well, Jerry, see, that's pretty simple, right? So I can check mark them off. So you just go from one to the other. It's real easy, right? Hmm. Right? So I click them all. So I'm doing my... But thing there, I'm done with pets, yeah, I'm done with the pit and fish, done with pit and the neighbor's dog. Okay, so I'm done with that chore. Hallelujah, I'm done, yay, right? And then the next day comes. So let's pretend this is the next day, right? And I click on it. What? I've already done all this already again? Oh no, that's right, because it for recurring tasks and it goes to the next day. It takes all your subtasks with you and they're all checked off. So now I'm like, oh yeah, now I gotta go back in here. And if you know, if you got a busy calendar, you're like, well, did I already do my chores? Because after all, this is the reason why we use to do this, right? The reason why we use the task manager is to, because we forget things and we wanna put it all in one place. So I'm like, did I already do this? No, I didn't do this. Oh, that's right, I gotta uncheck all of this back off again. So I can remind myself to check it off again, right? Why? Anywho, uh, so I got tired of that. So I wanted something that was all in one area. And Tick Tick comes to the rescue. Well, sort of. I searched for quite some time, and guess what? I found Tick Tick, and it does pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. It's, um,. Is it like the best to-do list manager ever? No. Is it the best calendar app ever? No. But for what I need it for, is it the best? So far, it seems to be. Because now I can put all of my events in here, put all of my tasks in here and, and schedule it and, it and I can move everything around like I want it. I can have reoccurring tasks. And therefore, if I need to move that recurring task in a day, I can move it around and it creates a, another instance of it. It's just like Google Calendar in a way, but I can create things to tick off. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to put chores down, right? All right, and so I put chores down from that time. And then what I wanna do is in the description, I wanna put, um, Feed fish, vacuum fish, tank, um, throw ball to neighbors, dog. All right, so now I've done that, right? So now what I do is I hit these little three dashes here and it creates a little checklist. So now let's say for instance, I have decided that I want to do this every day, right? So I repeat this daily, okay? So it's a recurring task now. So what I do is, is once I'm done with all of those, I check them off. Now watch this. When I'm done checking mark off of these, the whole task goes away. I don't have to check it off too. So I hit pet cat, feed fish, back in fish tank, throw balls to the neighborhood, poof, it's gone. Where did it go? Who knows? But it's off my list. You know, with Google Calendar, it's never off your list. So I'm like, did I already do that? I mean, it's all full. Now I've got it, everything timeline. And if you notice, by the way, I don't know if you know this or not, but on um, my little calendar, I have pretty much every uh, hour blocked off for something or another. And as you see, I don't, you're like, well, did you do anything this morning? Why, yes, I did. 
it's all gone. It's checked list off. So now I know what I got to do next, right? Well, you say, but what happened to that task, Jerry? What happened to it? Well, if we were to go to the next seven days here and look for it tomorrow, and there it is right there, chores, look, all that stuff isn't checked off. It's like a brand new fresh start. So then at 11 o'clock tomorrow, when that comes up, I go ahead and do it. Pretty simple, huh? So let's get rid of that, because I don't need that in there. All right, so uh, that's the cool thing about this. Also, like I say, you can move stuff around, like, you know, here, there, you move it all over the place. Woo, yay! Uh, stretch it out, close it to, whatever you need to do, you just move it around. Uh, so I just want to kind of give you all a brief idea why I changed from Google Calendar and Todoist over to TickTick. I really like it. Uh, it really works well. I've kind of used the same uh, list structure over here to the left as I do in Todoist. I moved pretty much, and by the way, just so you know, uh, it's really easy to move your projects and everything from Todoist over to lists here in TickTick. Uh, they have an import function for Todoist. So. Um, so I just moved everything over and I created my same structure and I'm not going to go into it right now. I just want to kind of give you all a brief idea of why I wanted to move over here and why this really works well. So now everything I need to do, I just click on it and, uh, check mark it off and it's done and over with And I pretty much stay on my calendar view. Granted, I do have a today view and next seven days view. Uh, but mostly I stay on my calendar view and then, you know, I got a week view, I got a month view. Um, so I pretty much stay on this and I really, really like it a lot. Uh, it's really, uh, quite helpful. Uh, but for right now, I'm not going to go too deep into tick tick. Um, but I did want to show you why I moved from Google calendar and, uh, uh to do over here to tick tick. Um, and in later episodes, I'll probably dive a little bit more into TickTick -Tick and all the cool little functionalities it has. But as right now, this is all I wanted to do in this episode. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button right down below. And if you want to see more of these episodes in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.